नमस्कार एंड वेलकम नेटवर्क एनालिसिस और पार्ट एन सीपीएम अगेन न्यू केस ऑफ ड्रॉइंग सिंपल नेटवर्क डायग्राम कंस्ट्रक्ट अ नेटवर्क फॉर अ प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ डिसमेंटलिंग रिपेयरिंग एंड रीबिल्डिंग अ मशीन इन एन असेंबली लाइन एंड द इंफॉर्मेशन हैज बीन गिवन इन सम वोट स्ट्रेंज वे एक्टिविटी एंड रिस्ट्रिक्शन एक्टिविटी ए we can interpret this sign as a is the predecessor of b b b is predecessor of e and i c c is predecessor of g d d is predecessor of a c and f c d is predecessor of a yes a is predecessor of b so a or b are not initial activities before them d should be completed e e is predecessor of i f f is predecessor of h g g is predecessor of b h h is predecessor of b and i there is pre, i doesn't become predecessor of anyone that means i e is the last activity of the project we are not habituated to draw a power chart or network diagram from this kind of information so to make it easy let's first of all write the predecessors yes a which one is predecessor of a a's predecessor is d yes b which one is predecessor of b there are three predecessors of b one is a another is g and another is h a g and h these three are predecessors of b c yes d is predecessor of c only d because no other activity is predecessor of c d no activity is predecessor of d that means d is the initial activity e e is the predecessor of sorry which one is predecessor of e b is predecessor of e b yes okay then f which one is predecessor of f c d is the predecessor of f g c is the predecessor of g h which one is predecessor yes f is the predecessor of h i b and e both are predecessors of i and mind well b is also the predecessor of i so b is predecessor of e as well as i now e starts only after ending b yes that means we shall have to use dummy activities i have already drawn a rougher to be very frank i was able to do this rough chart also after drawing one or two other rough works yes now activity without predecessor is the initial activity so it is clear that d is the initial activity now d is the predecessor of three activities a c and f three arrows that's confirm there are there should be three arrows from the event of end of d but should we name them in order a c and f is it a is one of the predecessors of b c is predecessor of g only and f is predecessor of h and a g and h are common predecessor of b so we should draw all of them in such a way that a g and h can be merged so i prefer and i advise 
to take activity A between C and F. Now we can name this as C and this as F. So that C will become the predecessor of G in this way. F will become the predecessor of H in this way and in this way we shall have the merge event the event merging A, G and H yes and they become the common predecessor of B B becomes predecessor of E as well as I but I has another predecessor E which has actually started from B. So this is something clumsy kind of relationship. I was also actually confused in the beginning how to draw. Ultimately I prefer to draw the diagram in this way with the help of dummy. We can also draw B on the lower side and then E from bottom to top and then also we can use the dummies I leave this thing upon you how to draw this part but we need to show the relationship between B, E and I that is somewhat complex because B is the predecessor of E B and E both are predecessors of I so without using dummy activities we cannot show this relationship and I prefer to have dummy activities to show the extension of B as well as E. Someone can tell me that can we draw <coughs> this relationship only by using only one dummy? I leave it to you. Try in rough work drawing the relationship with you the use of only one dummy see what happens yes okay B that becomes predecessor of E and now B and E both becomes the predecessors of I Yes, I. This should not be named because these two are dummy activities. I am writing every time the term dummy to show the dummy activities just for the purpose of making this clear for you people. And now this is term of turn off numbering the events okay first is always numbered as one now forget this so now we can take this as initial event of the remaining part it is turn of two we have two simultaneously so we shall follow the vertical order topmost and then the event shown on the lower part 1, 2, 3, 4. Now again forget this part. This becomes the initial activity for the remaining part. It is turn of 5. Yes, first, logically also first B and then only E starts. And that's why I preferred showing B on the upper side and not on the lower side. Yes, 6, 7, 8, and you see actually B first ends then only E starts and E ends and only after ending of B and E we can start I <coughs> this is the condition given in the problem otherwise it is logical that if E can start only after ending B and if I can start only after ending E, it is logical that 
I can be started only after ending B as well as E. So for me also, if I put myself in the place of any student, for me also this one is a surprise. But this is the interpretation of the restrictions given. Because B is the predecessor of E and I and all 